Okay, so now we have our base program. So let's open up our TIA portal now that we've actually been able to talk with the PLC and been able to do our AND and OR circuit. Give us two seconds while this opens up here. Okay, beauty. So I was working on this guy right here, project number three. So I'm going to open that guy up. Excellent. Now, I don't have to do anything with configure a device because everything's already configured. So I'm going to go down here into the bottom left-hand corner, and I'm going to go to project view. Excellent. Okay. At this point, there's nothing on the screen here, so I've got to open something up. So I'm looking at my PLC1. I'm going to open this up. And I can go to device configuration, but I know that everything's cool there from the previous video. Um, so I can go down to uh, my program blocks, so right here, open this up, so I'm left clicking there, and then I'm going to double click on the main OB1. <clears throat> Excellent, so there's our program that we had in there before. Okay, so we're going to save this as our base program now. And then anytime that we open this up from now on, um, we can, I mean, we can eliminate some of these rungs here, right? So we can just get rid of these guys. And then we should be able to, to save with just nothing on the base program here. So let's just get rid of output number one and output number two. Beautiful. And we will save this guy again. Nice. So now this is our base program. Okay, we're going to be working on a two wire and three wire now. So we'll save as uh, a different name now. But whenever we come back, we can always open up our base program now and we'll be able to talk to our PLC. Nice. Okay, so we're going to do a two wire to start. So again, we're going to grab an XIC or what they call a normally open contact right and we're going to grab an output here and we're going to label this guy uh, input 0, 0.0 hit enter, hit enter okay and then this guy right here we're going to label uh, output 0, 0.0 hit enter again oh, something went wrong there let me try that again syntax error so let's see uh, output 0.0, 0. Nope, still not right. What am I doing wrong? Let's hit this and then we'll be able to know. Come on. <clears throat> oh, that's right. This is, I'm thinking uh, Alan Bradley. I consistently make this issue. Q0.0. Ah, yes. Thank you very much. Okay, there we go. Okay, so we got Q0.0. The beauty of these videos is you're watching a complete noob uh, create a PLC program. So you can see all the mistakes you're going to make. Okay, so we've got a two-wire control here. And then below we'll make a three-wire control. So we'll add in another rung here. And then let's put in um, our stop push button. Then our start push button. Then in parallel with this bad boy, we're going to do a parallel rung with the holding contact. Then right here, we're gonna come up here and, come on, let's see the name. Close the branch, there we go. And right here, we will add our output. Excellent, okay. This guy right here, um, let's see, let's make this, you know what, make, let's make this input um, zero one. How do I go here? I'm gonna make this input zero one. So you see that I grab this, and I can change this to input zero one, okay? And then I'm gonna make this guy input zero zero. Okay, I'm gonna make this guy input zero one. That way, um, this these will both be my start push button. Okay, hit enter. Come on, buddy. Then over here, um, so I'm double clicking on this and then I'm going here to this menu 
And I'm going to have this as my output number one, because I've used zero here. So I'll have output number one. Okay, and then this guy right here, double click. Then I can bring up all my inputs and outputs. And I'll grab this guy right here. Beautiful. Now these tags uh, names are not what I want. So the next thing I'm going to do, now I've got a two wire and a three wire is first, save the project. And the next thing, let's go to, um, <clears throat> we're going to go to our PLC. We can either go to our PLC tags here um, and show all the tags. Okay. So this first one here, this first input zero, um, let's see if we can change the name. I want that to be named by stop push button. Okay, then that's fine. I can have this as my, I'm going to change this so it matches with the name. So output, instead of output one, I'm going to say open zero. Okay, um, this one right here, I'm going to rename as my start push button. Okay, so again, the way that I got here was I went to PLC, PLC tags and I double click here on show all tags. Okay, and then let's see, this one right here, I'm going to rename so it matches with that number. For some reason, I called it output number two previously. Okay, looks good. So I've got a stop, I've got a start, and I have two outputs, um, and I don't need these guys whatsoever. Beautiful. Okay, now let's see if that changed on my device view. So I'm going to open up my device configuration. Okay, you'll notice this is a lot faster. We've seen the other videos with the uh, the factory I.O. Having the two programs, this was just so slow, but now it's, it's dealable. Um, let's go to 400% uh, and let's just scroll over so we can see our inputs now. Ah, yes, there we go. So now we've got our stop push button, our start push button, and we could have changed these by going into device configuration and double clicking on these guys and below we could change the name as well. Nice, so stop start and then two outputs that we can now control. Let's go back to our main program now. We'll double click on the main OB1. Uh, let's save this now that we've changed our tags here. And I think that's cool, right? We got this guy as a two wire, then we got a stop, a start, and then these two are addressed the same. So this is output number one. This is looking at output number one, and when this becomes a one, this will be true, providing us another path of logic. Hey, it looks good. Okay, so let's download this to our PLC, and hopefully we don't have any issues. Okay, so I'm going to go through my Surface Ethernet adapter here. Um, let's see, I'm going to need to search. I don't... <clears throat> Mm -hmm. Interesting. I haven't seen this thing open. What if I configure to access nodes? Da, 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 da. This one should be cool. No. Okay. So let's start a search. So it's toning out to see if anything's out there. Nothing found on the network. Okay. Let's find out what's going on. I got issues every time I deal with this. Hang on. Okay, really when I sit down at my desk, I need to just check to make sure everything's plugged in. The Ethernet cable wasn't plugged into the PLC. All right, let's try this again. So it's toning out, seeing if anything's there. Come on, buddy. There we go. Found accessible PLC 192.168.2.10. Attempting to connect. Ah, yes. There we go. So we're going to grab this guy right here. We're going to load our PLC program in. Beautiful, looks good. Okay, consistent download. Okay. Very nice. Okay, so now let's, uh, we can go online or we can go right here to monitoring. Let's go right here to monitoring uh, and then we'll see exactly what's going on here. Okay, so let's try, let's just do monitoring here. There we go. And you can see here, so on my PLC, um, in this view right here, you can see that I have little dip switches. 
Let me just move the PLC down just a touch so you can see what I'm doing here. So I have little dip switches here. So my input one is right here. And when I toggle this switch right here, you'll notice that um, this will be true and it will turn on my output zero. So you should see, I don't know if you'll be able to make it out, but the, the LED for output zero should fire on as soon as I make this true. There we go. So you can see that there is 24 volts. So I have 24 volts going from my power supply into that input number one. That makes this guy true right here. And if I have a two wire control, then as long as this is true, then my output will turn on. And you can see here that the output LED is turned on. And you may, if I just be quiet for two seconds, you may be able to hear the relay contacts changing state. Hard to hear over the this, this sound of the actual switch there. Okay, beautiful. Okay, so that's my start push button. You can also see that that same input is changing right here. So as I change that input, number one, then you can see that my start push button is changing state as well. Okay, let's take a look at the three wire. So for the three wire, we have a holding contact. This is just a soft contact and then it's looking inside the PLC. And when my output number one turns on, it's examining that it's on and providing another path of logic to turn on that output. Okay, so I'm, I'm now at my stop push button. I need to close my stop push button in order to simulate the fact that I have a normally closed contact. Okay, then I need to, you can see that as soon as I change that, so let me change that stop push button back again. You can see that as soon as I change that state to closed, it's examining that it's closed, it is closed now. And now that we have 24 volts going into that input, then this is true and you can see that the logic continuity is stopping here at the start push button okay so we now have to turn on this output number one and as soon as we do that our output there we go so input number one is turned on and output one has turned on here okay now both of these outputs are firing on because i use the same input input number one here and input number one so it's firing on my two wire at the same time okay now a three wire is mint in that once the initiating contact is opened, right? So I will now open up my start push button, which will make this no longer true. But you can see that there's another path of logic that allows that output number one to remain on now. Beautiful. The only way to turn that off now is to open up the normally closed stop push button. So I will do that now. You'll see this change state right here and then you'll see that the output number one turns off. Beautiful. Nice, so normally close stop push button and start push button turns on the output. Let go of the stop push button. We still have logic continuity and it's waiting for me to hit the stop push button and break that continuity. Excellent. All right guys, that's the basics of our two wire and three wire. We're just building up on all the different things we need to do in order to get a decent program working. All right, guys, we'll see you in the next uh, videos. Next videos will most likely be on uh, counters and timers.